Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate nutritional guide for scum in 2023. And yes, today I'm going to do what I love doing, and that is testing every single um, recipe in the game. And very interesting, you can't put pots on the back. Um, which is very very interesting. You can only put pans at the back of a stove. So that's what we're going to do today We're going to cook every single recipe Look at the nutritional value of every single recipe and then come up with a perfect diet So sit back relax and don't go anywhere Okay, so we're starting at the basics. The first one is a chicken drumstick Okay um, this chicken drumstick, we're going to check what the, what the cooking, how the cooking times differ as well, okay? So, the chicken drumstick is 15 minutes, and we're going to see the nutritional value of the drumstick, because we're sitting with advanced cooking at the moment, okay? This character has got, um advanced cooking so the drumstick is taking 15 minutes and we'll see the nutritional value and compare this to a character with no um, cooking skill okay this is a vegetable so i'm going to just check the differences here because it affects the recipe so this is giving you five carbs and two protein 37 carbs and 6 protein 36 and 7 37 and 6 Okay, so I'm going to use the um, The corn here Lots and lots of corn that's needed So that's 5 total corn and then, of course, we need the salt for most of the recipes and the black pepper. So I'm going to start that one. That one is very, 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 very quick. This one is extremely quick. Or what I would guess is an insane amount of nutritional value. So right off the bat with advanced cooking, this is insanely fast. Perfectly cooked, grab it. And yes, guys, I must say this is this is insanely fast. Okay, so it's giving us a lot of vitamins and everything. But the biggest thing is it gives in, giving us thirty eight times five. That's almost two hundred carbs. And six times five is about 30, over 30 grams of protein per use. Okay, which I find very, very positive. And you eat it very, very quickly as well. And I'm going to look at the exhaustion recovery bonus of every food as well. So that's giving me 15, um, a 15 point recovery bonus. A 900 intake of energy and uh, 720 intake of water okay so everything i cook i'm going to look at the intake rate of the energy and the water and i'm going to look at the recovery bonus okay and i'm going to look at the carbs and then how long it takes to go through your system is it long lasting or is it quite short because the longer it lasts, the better as well. And then I'm going to look at the carbs intake rate and the protein intake rate, because that will differ between foods. The, 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 the difference between the carb intake and protein intake will be very, very important as well. Okay, so that is how the study is going to go. Let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to take me quite a while, but I find the information very, very interesting, and you guys can always quiz me of any foods during my streams, when I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. 
You guys can always give me pop quizzes of any type of food because I am noting this down, every single food type. And I don't know if the last time I cooked bread, it took very, very long, but it doesn't take very, very long with advanced cooking. So it was quite surprising since we can't get bread, we have to cook the bread in the oven. Um, I must say it's very, very fast, but of course I'm not going to take the stats on bread because the stats carry over to the two things or three things that I have to cook now, which is, of course, I'm at these last three. I need the bread for the cheeseburger, the burger, and the sevapi. Okay, need, uh, need bread for all three of them. So, yeah, I'm not going to test the bread, um, but I'll still write down the calories the carbs and the protein that you get from the bread. But, of course, when you cook the burger um, or the cheeseburger or the savapi, you're going to get the nutritional value of the bread in any case. So it just gets added to that nutritional value. So that's why I won't eat the bread raw. That's why the, um, the information that it gives you is not viable. It's better to use it in combination with the burgers or the sevapi. Okay, my examination was not right um, because the cheeseburger takes cheese and fat. If you look at the bread, the bread gives you 130, 132 grams of carbs, which is extremely high, and 80 grams of protein and 115 grams of um, water. Exhaustion recovery bonus is 25 stamina units um, times 7. So that's really, really good. Whereas the cheeseburger is only 96. With this has very little protein, the cheeseburger has got four times the or five times the amount of protein. Okay, the, cheese, the bread has only got 80 grams of protein, but the burger has got 36 grams of protein, which is very high. Um, much less carbs, a lot less carbs than the bread, and a lot more fat due to the burger needing fat and cheese and stuff like that, okay? And then the um, shevap, when you cook it into shevapi, um, is 50 grams of protein and only 8 grams of carbs, but again, 15 stamina units. So it's giving you 45 stamina units bonus there. That's giving you 30 stamina unit bonus. But this is giving you 7 times 25, which is 175, 175 stamina units of recovery. Okay. So when you're focusing just on carbs, the bread is much better than the burger or the shivap. When you're focusing on protein, of course your burgers are going to be better. But I've got one burger left, so let me get to it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to take quite some time. But if I have to go over my stats, then um, the grilled veggie, okay, the grilled veggie is very, very good, um, giving us 940... You know, 940 um, energy per hour, uh, 1,100 water per hour, um, 38 grams of carbs, 7 grams of protein. It cooks extremely fast. So this is definitely a winner for me. Um, you get five uses. It gives you 15 stamina unit, uh, stamina unit recovery per use. So this is definitely a winner for me. Um, for fast the grilled mushroom is really really good for me because of the water intake and the energy intake and it gives you 15 stamina units but it's got 11 units okay so you you can eat the grilled mushroom 11 times boosting your water your energy and your and your exhaustion recovery by an insane amount. The carbs and the protein is only seven each. Um, not something to write home about, but for water, this is really, really good. Um, you know, for carbs, that's really, really good. 
the goldfish isn't too bad, but nothing to write home about. And then the burger is not so something I'm a fan of. I'm a more a fan of the of the bread because the bread still gives you 17 grams of protein and the intake rate on your carb stays high for very very long so you'll be able to do a lot with this the stamina units are insane as well 25 times 7 the highest in the grill section and then i won't eat the cheeseburger just because of the insane amount of fat but i will eat the burger and um, the burger gives you 54 grams of protein 13 grams of carbs gives you an all right energy and water um, intake rate 19 stamina units times two so the burger isn't too bad okay and that's my analysis so far of the grilled um yeah of the grilled foods and now we're going over to the casserole which is very short thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been already about three hours. Okay, one quick note that I want you to take is that I boiled these fried eggs with the with these eggs that are on 52% durability. And I boiled these eggs in my hand with new eggs that I spawned in, okay? These are... Brand new eggs that I spawned in is giving me 30 grams of protein, 2 grams of carbs. The old eggs that was only at 52% still gives me 30 grams of protein and 2 grams of carbs. It's the same stamina units. Okay, 8.9 stamina units, that's 8.1 stamina units. But in any case, still the same value. I'm going to eat both of them. I'm going to eat the old one, throw up the food to clear my system, then eat the new one, throw up, and then if I don't say anything else in the video about it, you guys must just know that the fridges are a bit broken. You guys can see that this fridge is on at the moment, but the food's still getting old. You can see the fish and the meat is going old at the same speed. The vegetables are going old slower, you know, the chocolates. You guys can take a quick scan here of the foods the eggs went down very very fast the vegetables are going down very very slow a lot of these items aren't losing durability at all so it's not worthwhile putting them in a the fridge um, but the durability of your food makes no difference and if i don't add to this that is a fact whether you, the food is old or new that you're putting into your recipe you're getting the same brand new value because your cooked food will still be 100 percent okay ladies and gentlemen the good news i might not be here for 10 hours because i've already cooked vegetable pasta um in the pan and now i've cooked it now i've cooked it in a pot okay now the previous the the one that i cooked in the pan gave me 23 stamina units times four this gave me 17 stamina units times four it gave me it gave me 1390 energy and 440 water much less energy it gave me 106 carbs 14 protein okay so there's only there's a little mistake there with the uh, energy but other than that it's exactly the same so whether you cook past pasta in a pot or in a pan it doesn't really matter okay it's gonna give you the same although the pan looks a bit better on a few on a few things but other than that it's fine it's absolutely fine so yeah that's that's definitely going to save us a bit of time the fact that we whether you're cooking it in the pot or in the pan it does really matter boils down to the same thing so that's a very interesting no oh, very interesting thing there and i'm quite excited for my seafood pa pa pasta funny enough when you go to pa the pastas here it gives you less than when you do it in the pan which is 
quite weird when you think about it. Quite weird when you think about it. Interesting. But I think the power of the pots are going to be with the stews. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see. But thank goodness, I don't think I'm going to be here for 10 hours. Maybe just 8. Okay. So the spaghetti bolognese is impressing me because it started at 1,900 calories per hour and then it dipped down to 900. But it gave me a major, major boost right from the start. And its water was almost double that as well. So spaghetti bolognese it's getting better and better guys although the spaghetti i have to go slow to medium here going through my system a little bit faster than what i thought but yeah it's the first time i saw 1900 but again the faster it goes through your system the you know the the lower the intake rate is going to be so we have to scratch off spaghetti bolognese um it did surprise me right off the bat and then the longer it went the more disappointing it went so this is going through your system very 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 fast but i can just show you guys here if i eat like 10 percent of it okay that went down very very quickly but if you eat it a whole serving it's going to give you a ton but in any case let's keep that let's move on well let's record this quickly there you guys can see the seafood pasta which is very very interesting the seafood pasta doesn't take any seafood but in any case there you guys saw 2000 that's the highest intake rate i've seen in a while it was two up to 2000 at the start of it up until the seafood went to about 91 percent the intake rate started off at 170 grams per hour so really good boost um and this one's definitely a little bit slower definitely slow that but in any case, let's move on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the last two recipes with the pastas. And what I can say with the pasta is it takes very long. That's the one thing I can say. All of these recipes take 30 minutes to an hour in game, okay? Which is still quite some time to wait, even IRL. Um, this is with advanced cooking. So I am going to use the chow mein, which is 60 minutes. I'm going to use the chow mein as a test at the end of the video to see how much, you know, by how much the... Or I can use the kung pao spaghetti. Man, I'm going to use the chow mein. Okay, chow mein is 60 minutes. At the end of the video, I'm going to test it with no cooking skills, see how much that adds to the time, and then see if any of the nutrient value is different. Okay, see what we can catch about advanced and no skill when cooking. And yeah, nothing really, really blows me away. The vegetable pasta is good. The only note that I made is that you mustn't add oil or soy sauce to these recipes because it just adds a ton of fat. Okay, so this one I didn't add the soy sauce or the um, oil, vegetable oil. Um, and that's why the carbs are really good and the protein is really good and the fat is really low okay so i'm still getting really really good value out of the out of the kung pao spaghetti but i'm not adding the i'm skipping the vegetable oil and the soy sauce and you can't skip the cheese the cheese is a must but i mean the soy sauce and the vegetable oil is always optional and we don't need to add that that um, insane amount of fat because your body can only contain like 20 grams before it goes overboard you know if you start a new character you'll see that you start with 60 protein 140 or 50 carbs and like 20 grams of fat okay so it's unnecessary to go so high with fat and as you can see the saturated fats are clearly bad for you um so yeah that's what I'm getting out of it. The, the vegetable pasta is good. Um, if you skip the the oil and the soy sauce. And then the, the spaghetti bolognese. All the other stuff also takes long. Takes long to go through your system. Um, 
And then anything to do with mushrooms, like the mushroom pasta that took seven mushrooms. Okay? And when I ate the mushroom pasta, it took me one, one serving, took me to 115, 15% in my stomach. So it definitely, definitely fills you up. As you guys see, most of the pastas are filling you up. I just... I'm not crazy about the fact that they take so long. I feel I can get the same kind of results with the grilled, with the grilled, you know, versions, um, where it's very, very fast. So yeah, it stays in your system for long. It gives you energy. It gives you water. You know, but that's it. Except for the except for the mushroom pasta and the vegetable pasta, nothing is really standing out. If I have to take the one that has the best that has the best carb to protein ratio, I'd say the kung pao is good. The pesto penny is good. You know? that's it as you guys can see it works out of your it still works out of your system at a rate it does hit hand brakes when it comes about halfway and um, it does lose its power over time so yeah nothing special about the pasta but if you want to eat pasta vegetable and mushroom pasta will cover most of your needs and then if you're looking specifically for protein then the Shek Ow noodles give you 41 protein. The spaghetti bolognese gives you 53 protein. And yeah, the Kung Pao. No, spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese for for your protein needs. Um, sp spaghetti Milanese for your carbs. And then mushroom, your mushroom pasta for your water. <laughs> Holy poop, guys. I thought pancakes was going to be the highlight of my day. Because when you go to your pan that you can put on a grill, so you can even grill this, you've only got pancakes, okay? And the pancakes doesn't take anything special, but just to let you guys know what pancake I made... I didn't put any butter in, I didn't put oil, any oil in, I didn't put any walnuts in because all of them are fatty, but I put all the rest in. So I only skipped these three optional um, recipes and I put in the sugar and everything at the top, okay? And that gave me a pancake with holy poop of the dupe scoop, 243 carbs so this is a carb winner 20 protein roughly and water 258 milliliters of water and if we eat it okay yeah guys as you guys can see I'm eating myself to death here but it's fine So it's giving us three, three uses. The recovery bonus is good. The carbs are insane. I'm going to have to kill this character because he's overloaded with saturated fats. 20 times three. Okay. 20 stamina units times three is not bad at all. Um, the intake rate is 900 on the energy, not too good on the water, the protein is average, and then the carbs is quite high, the intake rate on the carbs is quite high, um, but I mean it is gonna, it is gonna, um, take a lot of sugar, it's gonna contain a lot of sugar and stuff like that, but a pancake intake is very, very quick, so pancake for the win guys pancake for the win 
goes through your system quite quickly, but it gives you really, really good calorie boost. And a protein boost. I like good pancakes. And it was quite fast. We're moving along now, guys. Luckily, you can cook all the recipes of rice on the pans and on the pots. And I'm using the oven. I am double timing here. And on the cakes, you this specific one, the roulade, roulade, you can't. You don't have any optionals. So you have to add the butter. You have to add, add all the unhealthy ingredients, probably to get the most out of it. But we are multitasking, guys. We are multitasking. If you appreciate me spending eight hours cooking food for you guys and running six servers and managing the Discord and banning people and answering questions and giving suggestions all at the same time, please remember to click that like button. And then, yes, I'm not even going to say it at the end of the video. If you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, click the subscribe button because that's all I do crazy stuff like this ladies and gentlemen let me give you one very very important tip you know that row large fancy cake i was making i went to the bathroom and then i had to help my partner with something and when i came back the row large cake was gone so let's see one two three four five fifty seven fifty eight fifty nine one minute. One. One minute, ladies and gentlemen. One minute. Doesn't matter what you're cooking. If you are one minute late, it is gone. <coughs> gone. <coughs> you don't want to do that when you're baking a cake that you have to wait 20 minutes IRL for. Okay, please don't make that mistake. Okay, that covers all the rice, spicy, sick on rice and peas with meat, peking duck, and uh, meat, broccoli, stir fry is not bad, guys. Nothing to write home about on the rice front, but the meat broccoli stir fry um, is quite good okay with its returns not bad still nothing to write home about the juvec and even the general pisos poultry is nothing really special the fried rice is nothing special the curry with rice is nothing special and then the chili Olive smashed cucumbers is quite good um, for the plain and simple fact that it's giving you 900 energy per hour and 800 water per hour. So that the the cucumber one is the closest to a good balance. But I mean, um, I'll cover in the end what is the best for water. I don't think we even have to think about that. And then the black pepper poultry. Um, gives you 41 yeah the black pepper poultry I don't think it gives you 41 let me check here black pepper poultry gives you 70 carbs and 41 grams of protein which isn't bad so if I had to really pick one I'd take the black pepper poultry that you need chicken you know that you need chicken meat for but other than that guys i'm not impressed with the with the rice at all um it i'm done with this list but it's definitely my most my least eventful i was excited about the grilled you know about the grilled food and um, we got some nice ones out of the pasta the rice um very one-sided very the same um, I've already um, put the chocolate roulade in the oven and the tea cookies. So far, they look the same for me as well. Um, so at the moment, it doesn't really matter what rice you cook. They're all going to do roughly the same thing. And if I'm right with my estimation, it doesn't really matter what cake, you know, what kind of cake you put in the oven. 
but hopefully it starts getting interesting as we go along. Some of these recipes, guys, is freaking cruel, man. Like, I can't even just use a normal... You know, I can't... I can't... I can't even just use... A normal, um... Yeah. I can't use just normal chicken meat, you know? I have to, like, get the whole chicken. It's rough out here, guys. It's bloody rough, man. It is bloody rough, man. How big is this thing? Well, let's go put it on. Let's go put it in the pot. Soup, 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 soup. There are seven. Yeah, because one of them you eat, you drink immediately. One of them just has one use. That's why I've only got six in front of me. And of course, the six in front of me has all been tested. Okay? Like, if I take the meat soup, you will see that it's only got one use. So, I've tasted, I've tasted all of them. And, yeah, what, what would I say about soup? Basically the same as what I would say about rice. The only difference is it cooks a little bit faster. So it's, it doesn't take as long as rice. Rice definitely took long. I fell asleep while I was cooking all the rice. So the soup is a little bit faster. The great thing about soup is it's got a very good mixture of energy and water. Okay? Um, so it's very balanced. That's one thing I would give the soup. When we're looking at best soups, I'd say the mushroom soup is very good energy and water wise. Mushroom soup gives you 28 stamina units. Uh, your exhaustion recovery bonus is 28 times 5. That is not bad at all. That's almost 150 units, okay? Which was quite close if we go back in our notes. It. That is quite close to the um, to the grilled one. 15 times 5. I think it was the bread. Was it the bread? The bread was also insane, wasn't it? Just looking through my notes here, guys. Yeah, I think like the, the highest we've gone is 175 stamina units recovery rate. Okay. So the mushroom soup is right there at the top. And then the egg drop soup. I like because it gives you 73 carbs and 57 protein. Also very, very well balanced, okay? With the protein and the carb intake rate. So yeah, most of the soups gives you 900. Um, basically 900, at the beginning, 900 calories per hour, 900, you know, milliliters per hour. So not bad, not a bad, um, diet but again nothing to write home about and that is about two hours later okay ladies and gentlemen it is I started at um, 8 p.m. in the evening it is now going up to 4 a.m. in the morning so I've been busy for eight hours thought to myself there must be a faster way of doing this as you can see this kitchen is not tidy at all <laughs> but i've got a system going here with the way i spawn in the items you know just fucking spawning them in baby because i'm going crazy but in any case we've got the stews going there's nine stews in total i'm just going to skip one because it's more or less the same as one of the others but in any case we've got um these two stews, we've got these two stews, these two stews, these two stews. We've got about eight stews, eight different stews going here. Cabbage rolls. So here we've got um, meat stew and jambalaya. Here we've got stuffed peppers and seafood. Here we've got fish paprakash, which I'm very interested in because this is the only thing I've been able to add bass to. And I wanted to add bass to something to give me vitamin D. So I'm very interested about this one. 
Um, so at least the recipes are a lot, you know, interesting. Chili con carne and cabbage rolls. This cabbage is so long. It's so long, guys. It's so, it's so long. It's very, very, very long. But in any case, at least I'm excited about this. Like, uh, like all the f seafood dishes don't really... Some I, I, There's a seafood dish that doesn't even need a fish. Okay, and then the other seafood dishes want salt water fish. And if it needs a fish, it's just like one fish. Now this fish, paprikash, needed three fish. And all of them they needed fresh water fish so i added three bass to this so maybe this is our vitamin d superfood okay but as you guys can see i've got a lot of things to look at here so i think i'm gonna do that and that and that and that i have to set my alarms here i'm gonna go insane I'm gonna lose my mind here, man. I'm gonna lose my mind here. This one's close. No, that's not one's not really close. This one, no. This one, no. This one, no. Okay, so I think it's this one. Guys, it's rough. It's rough. But like you guys know, I never give up. They don't call me diehard for nothing. I'm just beating puppets to a pulp because the cabbage rolls are going to take 180 minutes with advanced cooking in game that's about 25 minutes irl that i have to wait for those cabbage rolls and the dates give you 47 grams of carbs but something tells me the guy out of your system really really quickly but in any case, there's a puppet here that keeps on breathing very loudly, which I don't appreciate. I need my peace when I'm cooking. Okay? I need my peace, buddy. Stop bothering me when I'm cooking. Okay? I think he's here. Keep on hearing him. Yeah, it's this... This eerie sound right here. It's this freaky guy. Let me hell. I, I don't know about you, but three hours divided by four is still a long time. Okay, it's still a long time. So, I want to know, we've got the eight stews here, I've got the fish paprikash to see if that's something special, I want to know, I want to know, okay, yes, I'm going crazy guys, I'm going crazy, don't worry, I'm still here, cabbage rolls, let me just get my list out here, where did my pen go, my pen is right in front of me. Okay, so this thing is 22 stamina units times 4, which is not special at all. 760 calories, 500 water, 130 grams of carbs, 47, okay, not bad, 47 grams of protein. That's not bad at all. It really has to do something special here, guys. I'm not being funny. It really has to do something special here. My, my character is even dying from standing still. Okay, yes, we did beat up a few puppets, but still, yeah. Most of the time we were standing still. And we almost died from hunger. So the averages are 900 intake on the food. And since it's soup, should be 960 intake on the water. 625, 900. 900, but only 625. The carb intake is 152, which is, which is average. The protein intake is 27, which is average as well. 
It's running through our system quite fast. It's mostly water. There was absolutely nothing special about it. it doesn't give us vitamin D. It gives us K and C. Okay, it does give us a heck of a lot of, you know, a heck of a lot of vitamins. Giving us almost the entire range of minerals. Which isn't too bad. And then we'll have to see how do I empty, how do you empty your stomach, Luz, while you're eating these foods? How do I empty my stomach? Well, this is how I empty my stomach. <coughs> yes, this, this character of mine's stomach should have burst um, a while ago from the acid reflux but in any case if we go look at this um, fish paprika it's 17 times 3 where's my fish going through my notes here goulash fish paprika okay 17 stamina units times three nothing special energy is 236 that's quite low water is 411 that's quite average carbs is 11 that's really low protein is 36 that's very low and if we look at it it's giving us 2.4 micrograms of vitamin d which Gives us 7.2 Gives us 7.2 micrograms Which isn't that bad But I mean it's nothing to write home about That is the problem And this is going to disappear Before hopefully it's this, yeah, this will disappear So that we're back to square one So we're back to 900 We're back to 900 and 960 which is the average for water and then we're getting 36 protein oh man i already wrote that down the carb intake is 152 which is average and the protein intake is 27 which is average and it gives us no it didn't even give us it didn't even give us 7.2 grams of vitamin D. So it's a personal waste of time. Let me just check the rest, guys, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've tested all the stews. All these that are on top of one another is nothing special. The cabbage roll is definitely... Mm, something I'll never cook again because of the time that it takes and it's nothing special when it comes to nutrients um, stuffed peppers, seafood stew fish paprika chili con carne the meat stew is good the jambalaya is very good but the goulash is the best because the goulash gives you 111 carbs 43 per protein um and then it gives you the 900 energy and the 900 water which is very good so the goulage and the jambalaya are the two best to use in my opinion okay so okay ladies and gentlemen after this it's just the pancakes that are left i am busy with seven different houses and seven different ovens I must say this function that you hold in and I think five minutes is great because five minutes divided by four is about one minute so I'd say if you want to get an alarm for your food rather be five minutes rather take five minutes or ten minutes because ten minutes is going to give you about two and a half minutes to get there and let it not spoil or get destroyed and five minutes is only going to leave you with about one minute and 20 seconds or one minute and 15 seconds um, to get there so that it doesn't spoil so i've got seven houses 
and all of them are on a five limit timer and yeah i just finished the chocolate cake so when the alarm goes off it tells you what it is you know like there cheesecake now i go to my cheesecake um and my cheesecake is number four okay it says the reminder cheesecake my cheesecake is number four so because i'm busy at seven different houses this i just put blueprints down that's one two this is four i think four is on this side uh can't exactly remember no that's the banana cake so the cheesecake is on the other side cheesecake's on this side and five minutes still gives me time to get here you see there we go the cheesecake still gives me time to get there and since i've written everything down it doesn't work out very badly perfectly cooked i'm liking it i'm liking it so yes those alarms very very useful but i would say only use the five minute and the ten minute because you must remember that it gets divided by four which is the usual in-game time for scum and while i'm busy running around between the ovens guys um with something that takes so long like the scream slice that's taking 120 minutes in game um you don't have to wait until the bar is at the end okay what i usually do is with fast foods i wait till it's above this um, little thermometer symbol but as soon as it goes green you can take it off okay as soon as that bar goes green you can take it off and as you see it's perfectly cooked okay as soon as it goes green um so with something that takes 120 minutes you only have to you can take it off when there's like 10 minutes left okay very very important i've just shown you that when it's green you can take it off okay surprisingly enough ladies and gentlemen um we have got a winner when it comes to all the cakes um i did make the pancakes separately i do have the stats of the tea cookies okay um and the lemmingtons um, so the tea cookies and the lemmingtons nothing special but when it comes to total carbs and the complete nutritional value that these recipes will give you the fruit cake wins by far per serving so it's only got two servings that you can eat but per serving it wins by a mile because it's giving you 2100 calories which is the highest out of all the recipes in the cake section it's giving you 40 protein which is very high and 450 carbs which is really really high gives you quite a bit of water as well almost 500 milliliters of water um, and then of course very little fat okay only 13 14 grams of fat so i put apple in the fruit cake you can put any fruit in there i put apple in there i just use the picture that they usually give me um but i mean the the chocolate cake is good as well it just gives you a lot of fat but still four pieces times 240 is still very high on carbs the banana cake is not too bad okay because of the five uses and it gives you 30 grams of protein so that times five is actually um, 150 grams of protein in total when you take the entire thing it's 150 grams of total of protein and 800 grams of carbs so if you include all the uses there's not much difference between all the cakes this one is just very strong because of the two uses um, and then you can just look at the fat intake okay i don't really add any vegetable oil to most of them i think i cooked all of them perfectly uh, but yes um, my favorites are the chocolate cake the banana cake um you know if i have to immerse myself i'm not crazy about the fruit cake but the chocolate roulade gives us 15 protein and 200 calories which isn't bad at all uh, but if i have to pick i would pick the chocolate cake and the banana cake you know but if you want to take one bite with as much nutritional value as possible it will be the fruit cake now only the pizzas are left and i've got eight ovens ready so let's go 
Okay, so we are not done yet. We still have to do the cash rolls. Okay, I thought we were done, but I forgot about the cash rolls. The cash rolls look very, very interesting. Quite excited about it. At least we've just got six pizzas, but we're going to do the eight cash rolls now. And because I'm going to use meat, I wanted to just check up on meat as well and give you guys some info on meat. Of course, um, there isn't a big difference between all the different meats that you can buy or all the different animals that you can kill. Um, but there are winners in this okay so the bear steak gives you i'm going to times all the numbers by the uses so the bear steak gives you 60 grams of protein and 24 grams of fat the deer steak gives you 68 grams of protein and not a lot of fat not a lot of fat at all so the deer steak is really good when it comes to fat and um, the goat steak gives you 61 grams of protein not a lot of fat the wool steak gives you um, 148 grams of protein, but uh, but it doesn't. It gives you 60 grams of protein it, because it's four uses. So if you want to eat less, it's good to eat wolf meat, okay, because you're just going to eat four uses of it. But it's not better than a bear steak because a bear steak still gives you 59 grams of protein, where a wolf steak gives you 60 grams of protein, okay? So the wolf steak doesn't win. It's just, it's giving you the same amount of protein because of the uses, but it's giving you quite a bit of fat. And then the pork, nothing special. And then the horse is nothing special, also very little fat, but then we get to the doe, okay? Now, I don't know when's the last time I've bought meat at the trader, but the dough clearly wins at the moment. So if you guys were wondering what's the best meat to eat, it's not very easy to find deer or the female counterpart, which are does, okay? Um, I might help you in a future video how to find does very easily, but if we can buy it at the trader, it's a no-brainer. So the dough gives you 113 grams of protein, which is almost double of any other meat with very little fat okay and then the donkey is like roughly the same as well so if you don't want to eat a lot the wolf is good for you but if you want the best protein intake the dough meat is the best okay ladies and gentlemen the cash rolls take very very long as well but luckily we've organized our alarms and everything so when we're looking at the lasagna the cash rolls We've got poultry casserole, then moussaka, then meat pie, then mac and cheese, then lasagna, the different noise, potatoes, cheese pie, and then cheese loaves, okay? And looking at their um, respective carbs and proteins and energy, the meat pie is very, very good. Um, overall, gives you a good amount of carbs and protein. Um, so, yeah meat pie is very very good the mac and cheese is okay okay 83 carbs 43 protein so just a little bit you know worse than the than the meat pie then the lasagna is very good because the lasagna um, gives you 1266 energy uh, but it's not the winner of energy, but again, it gives you a lot of carbs, 109 carbs, which is very high, and 73 protein, which is extremely high. And then this potato thing is nothing to write home about. The cheese pie, um, it gives you the most amount of energy. It gives you 2,556 energy, so it's very high on energy. And then the cheese loaves are the best with with carbs okay the carbs that it gives you is 186 as you guys can see here 186 carbs okay so the cheese loaves are definitely the best for carbs um so yeah i'd say the cheese cheese loaves win um and other than that there's not a major difference again um again i'd say i put the cheese loaf first the lasagna second the meat pie third and then the mac and cheese fourth okay the others are roughly roughly the same 
Um, so let me just take a bite out of each of them. I, them. I haven't taken a bite out of each of them. And then, like always, just go through how much energy each one gives me, how much water, how much protein intake, what's the carb intake, uh, you know, and so forth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you're eating the food, clearly you can see the protein and the carbs and the fat, okay? So, yes, the cheese loaves are very good with carbs, but one thing I want you to realize is that it doesn't matter if you're eating rice, stew, um, casseroles, you know, it doesn't matter what you're eating. Most of the time, it gives you roughly 900 calorie intake rate. The water differs, but we will, we will know at the end of the video, okay? Spoiler, water is the best source of water. Um, but the intake rate of the protein and the and the carbs always are, are, are like the same 95% of the time. It doesn't really differ big. Um, a good intake rate on protein is like 33 to 40 grams per hour. A great intake rate of carbs is like 175 or 200 grams per hour. But one thing that I want you guys to, re uh, to realize here with these um, casseroles that I've been eating is the saturated fat. Now, except for the fact that I know saturated fat is not good for you, the game also tells you saturated fat is not good for you. And the reason that I don't like foods with fat is because protein doesn't work in this game like it would work in the gym. The more protein you have, you know, the more protein you eat, the bigger, you know, the better your muscle growth will be or whatever the case would be. The game basically just states that the stronger you get, the bigger you get. You know, everything is quite simplified when it comes to that. Now, when it comes to the, the specific food, that gets complicated, okay? So if we look at this graph per use, okay? Then energy is good, protein is good, saturated fats are bad, other fats are unnecessary, fiber is good, um, you know, a small amount of sugar is good, and then water is good, the vitamins and the minerals are good, okay? But you don't want something with a very high um, saturated fat ratio. And as you can see, this cheese pie is 38 grams of saturated fat. The This potato thing is 30. The meat pie is quite low. That's not too bad, 13 grams. The moussaka is still very high in saturated fat. The poultry, okay, the chicken d casserole is quite low, is very low with saturated fat. So I'd rather eat this um, since it's still going to give me a good amount of carbs and a good amount of protein, okay? But I'm just under the belief that when you've got <clears throat> carbs in your system, now I've taken a bite out of all of these, <clears throat> when you've got carbs in your system, the only thing that you're worried about is that your protein doesn't run out of your system. But as soon as you've got carbs then your burn rate on the carbs are very, very high. That's why I like to focus on foods with high carbs because I can sustain the carbs with foods that are high, you know, that gives me a good carb intake rate. Where the protein doesn't move, look at the usage, 4.1, okay? So you're not going to burn through the protein unless you have burned through the carbs. So... And it doesn't help you having 102 grams of protein. The difference between 102 grams of protein and the difference between 10 grams of protein doesn't matter. You're still going to build the same amount of strength uh, depending on the harshness of your activity. The, the difference is if you keep eating you know, unnecessarily, then you aren't building dexterity. We are losing dexterity at the moment because our energy is way too high, Okay. So yes, it's good to eat the thing that will stay in your body for an extremely long time, like rice and stew and, and you know, rice stew and casserole. Soup doesn't stay in your system for an extremely long time, so soups are not too bad. But the other things that stay in your system for a very long time just builds up your energy, and you can't really get rid of it, except if you, like, go and throw up, you know, and then you... And then you go on with your day, okay? But that's not the way you want to operate in scum. You want to operate with foods that don't just keep pushing. And again, because I've got carbs in my system, 
the fat, it's the, it's going to take forever for the fat to go down. The usage is only 1.7 and the intake is 20 grams per hour because we've got carbs. And that's why I would rather focus on carbs. Just something that I wanted to explain to you guys. And even the game says, you know, saturated fats aren't good at all. When your fiber gets to a certain point, it will go blue, which tells you it's good. Okay, we're starting with the pizzas now, and um, I only need six ovens, but right off the bat, guys, I want to say, I don't know how many carbs or and proteins the pizza gives you, but the cooking time is is a big thing for me, um, because the, the stews and the pastas and the casseroles take so long, again, the soup is in the middle when it comes to time-related, but right off the bat, the time that the pizza is taking is very, 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 very quick, um, which is immediate. It's an immediate positive thing for me. So if the nutritional value of it is quite comparable um, to like a stew or a pasta or casserole, that will make a major difference in my decision making. And we are finally at the final stage. We're up to about 15 hours so far that we've spent on this. And then we, of course, just going to finish with the drinks, which is, of course, the most fun out of the whole process. But yes, about two and a half minutes in game, which is very, very, very fast. And um, yeah, as soon as it turns green, it's perfectly cooked. And it's giving us 36 grams of carbs 34 grams of protein not a lot of saturated fat but for the time for the time that you're spending on it and then 27 stamina units uh, per use and it's five uses so it's more than 100 stamina units that it's giving you so it's 27 times 5 the energy is 703 which is um, very good it's not bad at all the water that is giving you is 336 mill milliliters which is very good this is of course the vegetarian one the protein that is giving you is 34 which is nice and then the carbs is 96 which I like very very much so let's just see how long so we're going to eat this first slice just see how long it stays in our system so it takes quite a while to eat Fills up your stomach, by, but not by a lot, so you can probably eat the whole entire slice of pizza and something else and a little bit of water. So you can combine this with water or tea or coffee or whatever you want to combine it with because there's quite a bit left in your stomach. It's giving us the 900 calories, okay? Um, it's going through our system at a medium rate, giving us 911 on that, giving us 27, which is the standard. Okay, so that's 900, that's 511, and then it's giving us the 152 intake rate on the carbs, which is standard. Um, yeah, and then I just want to see how long it basically stays in our system. You guys can see the, the speed at which you are gaining carbs there is the same as if you're eating stew or pasta or something like that. The speed at which it increases doesn't go up. You know, the only difference is how much it can give you, and 88 carbs is quite a lot. So usually the food um, goes through your system very, very fast um, in the beginning, but then it slows down at the end. So when I'm done with all the pizzas, I'll just tell you guys, you know, how much it slows down at the end. How long does it stay in your system? How long is it effective? Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally completed the test after about roughly, I don't know, I lost count at some point, but let's say about 12, 13 hours. Um, I love doing this, okay? Um, but I would appreciate you guys if you like this video and if you want to learn more about Scum to subscribe because it is a passion of mine to know the intricate details of Scum. So yeah, the pizza is not a lot of difference between them. Um, if I look at their values, I just want to write down here the this capriosa, 
Capriosa is 26 times 4 with stamina. And then the energy is 962. The water is 333. The protein is 46. And then the carbs is 104. So if I have to quickly look at the protein, 4100, 4100, 4100. Uh, yeah, the Hawaiian. Apparently, the Hawaiian is the best one out of all of them. <laughs> out, you know, but not a big difference between them, guys. Not a big difference between them. And then when it comes to the drinks, um, all of these drinks gives you a lot of carbs. 55 carbs, 54 carbs, 49 carbs, 67 carbs. Of course, um, the hot chocolate gives you a little bit more protein than carbs, but I'd say the black coffee isn't too bad because it gives you the highest amount of carbs, and then it's very l low on saturated fat. That, that, those are milligrams, not grams. Very, very low on saturated fat. It's very high on vitamin K, calcium, magnesium, potassium, copper, um, you know, got a lot of benefits to it at the end of the day. And, of course, caffeine is also very, very important. So if we drink a cup of... If we drink a cup of um, black coffee, then you guys will see it gives us an intake rate of 121 on our carbs. It gives us a bit of an intake rate on our protein. gives us good energy good water but again it's giving us a boost of energy which is very 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 important okay uh, most of the other things don't give us a boost of energy so this coffee is actually increasing your amount of stamina units which is absolutely insane okay really 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 good for that um as you can see your max stamina is increasing so this is what Blue, uh, my son, that PVPs a lot. He likes to drink coffee just for that extra bit of stamina before he enters a fight or to keep his stamina quite high. But again, the caffeine has a percentage. You guys can see it stays at 10%. It's not going to give you more than 10%. And it states it like that, okay? The caffeine says there 10%. Um, caffeine is 6% on the espresso. The caffeine, um, there's no caffeine really on the tea. And then the hot chocolate, there's nothing on the hot chocolate either. Okay. Uh, but the tea definitely helps as well. So if we drink the tea again, it helps with your recovery bonus of your exhaustion. Again, it's giving you carbs, very, very little fat and a little bit of protein okay i'd say the black coffee is probably my favorite for the overall boost that it gives you but then you can see there's no extra boost okay so in my personal opinion the coffee wins and all of these are very very fast to make okay so the teas are just good overall for carbs but the coffee is good for carbs as well and then it's giving you that caffeine um which is really really good and then of course the the espresso is giving you the caffeine as well although i'm not sure if the caffeine stacks but as you guys can see you can drink a lot of this we're getting a good intake rate of the water we're getting a good intake rate of energy we're getting 200 grams per hour on our carbs that is extremely high it's like it's going up by 0.2 most of the time, okay? So this is a fantastic way to boost your carbs in the fastest way possible when it's just increasing your protein, you know, on a standard level and giving you a little bit of, of fat as well. But again, it doesn't really stack. The 6% doesn't, doesn't add to it. So the winner by far is coffee. Um, you don't need a lot, okay, to to make coffee. I'll just show you guys here. It's really, really quick, okay. The coffee is really, really quick. So you just um, you just go to a pot, 
this is what I like. The, I think the, the best foods that I'm going to come up with when I'm done is going to be basically something that you can put over a grill. Okay, because I'm not crazy about the pastas and everything, although you can make a pasta on a grill, but I mean, I don't even need a kitchen um, to maintain the perfect diet. But as you guys can see with coffee, it basically just needs the coffee, um, you know, water, and then it needs sugar. But the sugar is op optional, okay? But of course, the sugar is gonna give us a lot of carbs, okay? So the sugar really, really helps. The sugar is optional, but the sugar is the thing that's giving you um, a high amount of carbs. And as you guys can see, it's extremely fast. So what are you gonna need? You're going to need um, or a 10% boost of stamina most of the time, you know, that's that will really come in handy um, at a certain point. And of course it boosts your stamina. Um, you basically just, you're basically just going to need coffee, water, and sugar, okay? And the, like I say, the sugar does make a difference. But that's it, guys. I am now going to go to my vehicle where I've put most of the foods inside the crate. I couldn't put all the foods in the crate because in the beginning, I ate a lot of the foods repeatedly. Um... But yes, we're going to put all the foods here in the crate. And then I'm going to go through my 20 pages that I've written out with all the stats. And then we're going to finalize this video by giving you guys the best diet, you know, the best nutritional diet in scum. Of course, you can, you can cook everything for immersive purposes or role paint playing purposes or just to have fun but i'm going to finish this video with the most effective diet for a prisoner on this island to get the most out of his performance and to never suffer from a calorie or a you know a nutritional deficit and a diet that you can comfortably keep your energy below 50% with so that you can build your dexterity to the max. Okay? So let me study all these pages and get back to you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of our journey and I will write this down um, below in the comment section. On the grilled section, the best foods are the grilled um, vegetables, the gr grilled mushrooms, okay, um, for food and water. And then a nice add-on is the red meat, um, the red, the grilled red meat, okay, because it, it's got three uses with about um, 30 protein, so it's really, really, really good. Um, then on the stews, the jambalaya wins by a mile. Then we've got the pasta. At the pasta, the spaghetti Milanese. Milanese is very, 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 very good. Um, the vegetable pasta is also all right, but the spaghetti Milanese wins. Then on the rice side, the meat broccoli stir fry is by far the best out of the stir fries overall. This is just the best nutritional value if you're looking for vitamins, you know, different um, vitamins that you want to focus on or different minerals that you want to focus on, then that's completely different. This is just nutritional value. Then in the soups, the egg drop soup is the best soup. And then, of course, the mushroom soup is also very good for water. Then at the uh, casseroles, the cheese loaves win. Okay, and this lasagna is good as well. At the pizzas, the Hawaiian win. And then at the cake, the, the pancakes win because of the low amount of fat and the time it takes you to cook it, where all the other things takes very, very long to cook and their fat percentage is quite high. So because of balance, pancakes win there. And then at the drinks, the black coffee wins by a mile. So... 
I will write that down for you guys in the comments, but my ultimate diet, because I'm on the go player, um, if I want to role play, if I want to relax, um, I will probably, I don't know, play around with the other foods, but it doesn't matter if I'm building a base, it doesn't matter if I'm AF, AFKing with the wheelbarrow, um, although with the wheelbarrow, I'll add a bottle of wine because alcohol helps, alcohol protects all your, um, alcohol stops you from burning through your calories and carbs. So if I'm going to AFK with the wheelbarrow, I'm probably going to add a bottle of wine um, to my food. But as a, as the on, as an on-the-go player and as someone who um doesn't really have time to sit there you know and wait for the for the big big foods to cook that stays in your body for a very long time although trinity is a person if you don't run around everywhere and you're not extremely active then those pastas and stews and rices are better for you because trinity uh, my sister that's new to the game she always liked eating rice which processed through your body very very slowly um, where I was always a fan of like cornflakes and stuff like that, you know, stuff that burned through my body very, very fast. But, ladies and gentlemen, my ultimate on-the-go survival diet for the ultimate cooking guide is the grilled vegetables, which gives you 37 carbs times five, okay? So the grilled vegetables only takes a one and a half minutes in-game to cook, it's great for carbs. In total, it gives you 190 carbs and 32 protein. Second on the list is grilled mushrooms. Grilled mushrooms takes five minutes to cook. It's great for an on-the-go water source. Even if you're playing down here in the desert, it's fantastic to have grilled mushrooms with you. And then, yeah, just great for the desert areas. Then your grilled red meat. Um... It's also good. It's giving you three uses of 37 grams of protein, usually 30, but I use the dough meat. So let's say 30 times three is 90 grams of protein. Only takes eight minutes to cook. Um, good for your dexterity because it's very low on fat and burns through your body quite fast. And then black coffee for the obvious reasons. Five minutes to cook, great for carbs, gives you 10% stamina boost, and is great for on the go. So this is a brand new character. Um... Of course, he's got advanced endurance, and in advanced endurance doesn't make a major difference, guys. Yeah, doesn't really make a major difference. Just a minus fifteen percent to energy use and water water usage. But what we are going to do now is we are going to run from this side of the map to that side of the map. Okay, full speed, just resting when we need to rest. Um, she's already burning. Yeah, she's already burning through her energy and carbs. And I'll show you guys what I have left of my ultimate diet once I've ran across the entire map from year to year, okay? Which is 25 kil kilometers, and she's got about 41 kilograms of weight on her. She's over her allowed weight because of the RPK, uh, the AWM, and of course the pistol. So let's see what she's left with with this basic diet when she gets there. I am here to educate you, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you have learned something and found this video helpful while we are ending it or getting close to the end. And very, very important is that only now that we are at 50% um, energy, we have just, just covered one sector. We've got a bit of a hill in front of us. Even while we are sitting still, we are still gaining dexterity and as soon as we run we will gain the max amount of dexterity very very quickly you will see there it will go up to 24,000 um, that is the max amount of dexterity you can gain just because we are below or getting close to 50% energy at a certain point we will gain the max amount of dexterity even though we're standing still because of hunger okay but we are not going to allow ourselves to get hungry and because of this character just having max endurance, she doesn't run very fast and she doesn't run very far. 
either as well okay the only thing that like with the running it's the consumption rate if you start with them with an advanced running skill your stamina consumption rate goes down so that means you can run for much much further and you can run much far you can run much further and you can run faster where with endurance you're just using a little bit less energy and food and now that we are below 50 percent energy we are gaining the max amount of dexterity even while we're lying down okay but and then when we start running again we're getting back to 24,000 very very quickly but as soon as we get to zero stamina we will stay at plus 24,000 until we are ready to run again giving us a constant plus 24 okay plus 0.24 um the dexterity increase and of course this character was standing still for about 15 hours irl which is about 60 hours in game the character was standing still that's why her dexterity and her constitution went down but her constant uh, dexterity um, went down the most because she was standing still and because she was eating different foods which was keeping her energy at 100% or more, which was affecting her, um, her dexterity in a very, very negative way. Where nothing happened to our strength because nothing happens to your strength while you're standing still. So there's no negative effect to your strength while standing still. There's a little bit of a negative effect to your constitution, but I mean, that's after 60 hours in game. Yeah, 15 hours IRL that we only lost about a thousand but we can see the dexterity is the main thing that you are losing out on if you do not keep your energy below 50% so what we're going to do now is we're going to run up this hill until we have to rest again because when you're running up a hill you you almost getting the max amount of um, constitution difference even if you use a wheelbarrow this is roughly what you will be um getting with your constitution but i mean not everything is an uphill so it's going up and down but if you run up a hill you're getting very close to the maximum gain on your constitution and again if you're running up a hill you do gain a little bit more on your strength as well because it's connected to the difficulty of the of the action that you're doing and of course running up a hill is quite difficult and now that we're lying down we see our water is a problem and that's where the canteen um, comes in. There is no better, there is no better um, item in the game for water than a canteen. So we're gonna drink, and then we're gonna drink again because every every use gives you 150 milliliters of water. So 300 milliliters of water is more than enough. We're going to stand up again and we're going to start running again and we're going to gain water because our usage rate is at about 200 to 250 max where our intake rate is 960 you can't get a better intake rate on water than drinking water and as you can see two sips make sure 300 300 milliliters of water doesn't go through your system that fast so you can sustain your water very very nicely by drinking twice out of your canteen every now and then okay and again maximum dexterity and once we get to about once we get to about 10 or let's say 20 percent energy we will start using these foods of ours So the grilled mushroom is only going out of our system now and at some point it even gave us 960 milliliters per hour, okay? 
And our carbs haven't even lowered yet. We are burning our usage is 42 grams per hour now that we're running up a hill. But because the gr the grilled mushrooms, remember guys, when you drink when you drink from the canteen, it's giving you 150 milliliters of water per use. Where the grilled mushroom has got 11 uses, and that's giving you 181 milliliters of water per use. So the grilled mushroom is actually better than a canteen, plus it's giving you protein and carbs. And it's because of the three uses of protein that gave us 18 grams of protein that our protein hasn't really dipped. Our fat has dipped, but our protein hasn't really dipped. So we're still getting the max amount of gain from our protein, okay? And all we have to do to sustain this level of protein, because your a good level of protein is around 55, 50, okay? To fill this bar completely, you need, you need about 55 grams of protein. So to keep this bar nicely in shape, you just need to eat grilled mushroom. But since our water is at 100%, we don't want to drink any more now. We again want to keep our water below 100%. Otherwise, a lot of it goes to our bladder and then we have to poop or we have to pee. You know, we have to pee a lot. So what we're going to do now to just sustain, just to sustain us, is we are going to eat um, one of these. And one of these is going to give us 6 grams of protein and 37 grams of carbs. Now, to understand this, I want you to see what happens when we run. Okay, we're still getting a bit of water from the grilled vegetables. Okay, so the grilled vegetables giving us water as well. Look at the intake rate versus the usage rate. Okay. For now, we are not touching the, the protein because, because we've got carbs in our system, the burn rate on our protein isn't 42 grams per hour, it's 4 grams per hour. So the protein, the carbs, are, is buffering our protein. And the intake rate is going to stay at 152 for quite a while because it has to burn through... Um, 38 grams of carbs. Now we are about to cross the bridge right here. We're on the final stretch. And what I want you guys to realize is we've still got most of our vegetables left. We've got most of our mushrooms left. We only used the coffee once. We've still got three meat left. Okay. So we're well, very, very well on our way. And look at our diet. Our protein is still perfect. Our carbs are low, protecting our protein. Our fat is low. We are gaining the max amount of dexterity. We've almost recovered the entire 5,000 points of dexterity. We've recovered our constitution. Okay, and we're gaining strength slowly but surely. And that is why I say this is the perfect diet. Now, if anyone in the comments is gonna say this is a very easy route to run because it's not so hot over here. And remember, we've gained about 20% in our running skill just because we've run across the map. If anyone says like the desert would have been um, 20 times harder, although we did miss the bridge, which is a bit sad. Our nav navigational skills didn't go so well. Um, we will see about that when we get to the other side. And this run, because the character has advanced endurance and not advanced running, whoopsie, um, this trip took a, this trip took a lot longer, a lot longer than it should have taken. That's why I say starting with advanced endurance, 
just doesn't really help you in the long run. You will level up your endurance naturally by carrying a lot of weight on you. And then, of course, AFK leveling with a wheelbarrow, which will push your endurance a lot faster than what you are pushing your running at this moment. And because you drive vehicles in the game most of the time, um, you're not, not going to be running most of the time. But when you AFK your strength, constitution, and dexterity, you will be AFKing your endurance. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a time of one hour and ten minutes in game to run from this side of the map to that side of the map in a straight line, um, with a perfect with a perfect protein balance. Um, nothing in our stomach at the moment, but we ran across the entire map with a perfect protein balance. Good rate on our carbs. Good energy efficiency to max our dexterity constantly. And with still three uses left of the grilled vegetables, eight uses left, left of the grilled mushroom, eight uses left of the canteen, three uses left of the red meat, and then one use, left, use of the coffee. But in um, the perfect diet would be two cups of coffee instead of the raw coffee. The raw coffee is just not good for you and it's not good for immersion or any case. And this is with the weight ratio of 41. And as you guys can see, this character has got advanced cooking. And that's where we got the times from at the beginning of our video. So this took an hour and 10 minutes. What I'm going to do now is I'm create a brand new character with my ultimate build, which will be um, advanced rifles, advanced running, advanced thievery, and advanced medical, which will have no cooking skill. And we will compare the cooking times, so how much does no cooking affect the cooking time because i gave you recipes that won't take time at all the cooking skill won't in my opinion have any major effect because i don't believe it will change the nutritional value of the food it will just change how long it takes you to cook the food but since all the foods that we chose was the grilled vegetables that's only one and a half minutes and the uh, Grilled mushrooms, that's five minutes, and the grilled red meat, that's eight minutes, and the black coffee, that's five minutes. I don't really care how much longer I have to cook those fast foods um, to have the premium effect that I have now. Okay, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. My ultimate character build, advanced rifles, advanced running, advanced thievery, advanced medical no cooking skill we're going to add the same ingredients i always use corn for this ingredients the mixed vegetables it takes 2.4 minutes okay instead of 1.5 minutes a little bit technical we need a calculator to figure out the exact difference there is it making a difference to our playtime and our enjoyment definitely not okay definitely 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 not we're just going to stop it when it's cooked goes green perfectly cooked put that into our tactical jacket then the second thing that we're going to do now is the mushrooms grilled mushrooms five mushrooms and the same thing i always use these mushrooms bulletis edicious four of those mushrooms sorry five of them five of those mushrooms That's taking eight minutes instead of five minutes. So that's like a 
of the yeah, almost 60 per, 60% more but again it doesn't change anything for us then it's the grilled red meat grilled red meat we're going to use exactly the same meat as what we use now now which was the dough steak just just so that we can see if we get getting 37 37 grams again that's going to take 12.8 minutes instead of eight minutes again no real difference and then we are going to make the black coffee which we can make without even a recipe book which is absolutely fantastic so it's coffee and then we're going to need sugar and then we're going to need a canteen and there we go we've got the canteen we've got the sugar and we've got the coffee again we don't need any cooking books for this and the coffee is taking eight minutes instead of five minutes again no real difference to our life and now we are going to run from this extreme point right through to that extreme point will be which will be just as far as this route that we ran and we're going to time that as well with exactly the same foods but yeah we're going to make sure that we don't use all of it we're going to make as if yeah as if we just had the food left that we had and take that off perfectly cooked and and that ladies and gentlemen took us exactly five minutes irl we're getting the same protein as what we got okay with advanced cooking um getting the same carbs as what we got with advanced cooking um getting the same water as what we got with advanced cooking and again getting the same carbs as what we got with advanced cooking so cooking doesn't affect the nutritional value of what you cook at all it just changed the time and that this entire process took us six minutes and now we can play the game now let's start running okay here we go on the one side of the map our character we got 22 xp from just that little bit of cooking that we did that five minute cooking gave us 22 percent in, in our cooking skill guys absolutely insane we weigh three kilograms more than the previous character weighed and we're going to start our timer right now and uh, we're just gonna we're not even going to take a straight line we're going to zigzag right up to there Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're running um, on the road, so it's not as if we can run next to the wall, which would have been a direct route. So, of course, we're going to take a little bit longer. We will take shortcuts here and there, but we are going to follow the road as much as we can to get there. And the reason why running is so good is because of the minus 30% consumption rate when you jog or when you run. So instead of just using 15% less water and food you gaining 30 percent you you using 30 percent less stamina when you're running and you're running 15 percent faster okay which is an absolutely great bonus the other th the other great thing about advanced running guys is that you saw how many times i got i got beaten by puppets a lot um when i was running with the advanced endurance because i ran out of stamina very very quickly and i couldn't really run away from any of the puppets because my running speed with the weight that i had on me was about 20 kilometers per hour instead of 24.7 kilometers per hour so i am running away from every single puppet except the thin ones except the skinnies so no puppet can really can really keep up with you or bother you except for the skinnies
We are crossing the bridge at around 29 minutes. More than halfway. So, really, really good pace. I'm thinking the white road might be a good road to follow. Yeah, I'm feeling that white road will be quite an effective road to follow. And protein is still perfect. Water perfect. Haven't gone to the bathroom once. Haven't used my bladder once. And we've got nine uses left. Um, sorry, I've still got the meat in my hand. We've got coffee left and everything. I'm going to eat one more of this uh, vegetable. Because we've got no carbs. I just, I just need something to protect my carbs a little bit. Because... Or something to protect my protein with, because I've got nothing to protect my protein with at the moment. So, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it within 54 minutes. Let's make it around 55 minutes where the other trip took us an hour and 10 minutes. Okay, where we had to follow a road or whatever. So it's actually about 50 minutes if we could have taken a straight line up until here. So we can safely say, even if we ignore the fact that we had to follow the road on this one, we can safely say that we're saving minimum, I'd say more like 20 minutes, but at minimum we're saving 50 min 15 minutes for every one hour of running, okay? So over a four hour playing session, 15 minutes times four is one hour. So over a four hour playing session, if you're running around all the time, you are saving an hour per day if you just play for four hours a day you are saving 30 minutes a day if you're just playing two hours a day with this with um advanced running and of course guys perfect protein perfect fat okay we can take um Yeah, we can eat uh, we can eat a grilled veg vegetable, um, just to get those six carbs, to get our protein to the perfect level. And there we go, guys. We just ran twenty five kilometers in the desert terrain, with not even using you know not even using half of all our of our little bit of resources that we created within five minutes so this is the most time effective nutritional guide right through the bank time effective with the fact that you're not wasting time cooking food and even if there are people in the comments that tell me that the other the stews and the pastas and the casseroles and the soups are better because it stays in your body for longer. I have just run, ran across the entire map in the desert. I have got zero exhaustion. Okay, zero exhaustion with this diet. 
perfect protein, perfect dexterity. I gained three and a half thousand dexterity. I gained one and a half thousand constitution and one thousand pro and one thousand strength. Ladies and gentlemen, click that like button if you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. And click that subscribe button if you want to learn everything there is to learn about the best survival game on the planet. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Look out for future videos. Because I'm never going to stop what I love doing. And that is testing absolutely everything to make your playing experience just that little bit better. Cheers, guys. Keep surviving.